A new study which says, which appears to be a link between two common beauty products, hair dye and hair straighteners, and it's being linked to breast cancer. Now, according to a new study in the International Journal of Cancer, many of these products contain endocrine disrupting compounds and other carcinogens, which lead to an increased risk of up to 45 percent. So to talk about this study and the chemicals you may be putting on your body every day in the name of beauty, we turn to medical doctor O. Adi Shirazi. Thank you so much for joining me, Dr. Shirazi. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm looking at you. You've got makeup on. I have it on. I know that we probably have endless numbers of bottle, bottles for skin care. This is very concerning, not only to women, but men as well. How, as you read through this study, how concerned should women be regarding this study? Well, you know, we know that so many factors influence a woman's risk of breast cancer. And although the study results are meaningful, I think we have to put it in the right context. And I think women should be cautious, but I think it's too early to swear off hair dyes. <laughs> I definitely hope it's not. I still have a few years left, and I'd like to keep my, my color That's as right. long as I can. That being said, though, you know, what products are we talking about here? Because I heard in what time frame, because it's not just the ones that we're using currently. It's the ones all That's the way right. back into the 90s and, and even a little bit in the 80s That's and the 2000s. Right. So particularly, we're talking about permanent hair dyes and chemical straighteners. And these products have over 5,000 different chemicals in them, and the formulations are constantly changing. And unfortunately, the FDA doesn't regulate these products. So we really have to be smart consumers here and know what we're putting on our scalp and our skin and really educate ourselves. Well, and I agree in educating yourself, but I can even just think of, of my own salon, and I have a very experienced uh, woman who does, great, does a great job with me. At the same time, is it impossible to think? I mean, they're, they don't go to school for chemistry. They don't learn all the ingredients. And as you said, they're That's constantly right. changing. It's not regulated. This seems like a, a definitely a battle that is just starting to brew. That's right. Well, we know there's, they're chemicals, and we know that they're going on our skin. So I think it's important to monitor the frequency of how often you're getting these treatments done. If you can go, you know, longer periods uh, and having your hair dyes or switch to a temporary or a semi-permanent hair dye, for example, and always be in an environment where the room you're in is well ventilated and, you know, you're the person who is doing these sort of treatments to you are up and aware of certain recalls or certain information that comes through from the beauty industry. Well, and I have to ask you, when you look at these products, is it kind of sometimes you find that the more expensive you pay for it, the better quality? Does it matter from the over the or off the shelf hair right. color versus the ones that they use professionally in a salon? That's right. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it really matters, but you know, from a, a cancer standpoint, it, what matters is the amount of surface area you're using these products on and the concentration. How strong are they? And it's actually been shown that women with thicker, curlier hair tend to absorb these products more than somebody with finer or um, you know, less density of hair. So some of this has to do with the frequency of application, the concentration, and really how much surface area, how much of these are you using on a regular basis. Well, doctor, thank you so much. I'm going to continue to dive in. I know you're going to continue to be asked questions. And as we continue That's to right. find out more about the study, I hope you'll come back on with us and continue to share. Thank you. Thank you.